Hello friends and welcome to the start of a not so scary video. Tonight is Tuesday night and we are headed to Mickey's not so scary Halloween party of the Magic Kingdom. It is currently 4.30. I honestly have no idea. Don't have my phone on me. But here's the catch. It is supposed to thunderstorm the entire party tonight. Literally from like 5.30 until midnight. So what we are going to do is we are going to change into our Halloween party costumes and then we are going to change into a separate outfit and actually head to the party. Yes, we did coordinate costumes for this party with the understanding that it wasn't supposed to storm as bad as what it's going to. We don't want to ruin our costumes in the chance that we might wear them back home or again for a future Halloween party. So we're just going to change into them and take some cute pictures for the season. So let's do a little little transition here and put on something a little more spookier. <laughs> if you know who I am right now, all the credit to you. No, I am not Sid from Toy Story. Sid looks like this. This is not the same shirt. I actually ended up making this shirt myself. I homemade it and it would have been the perfect thing to wear to the party tonight, but mother nature says otherwise. I'll show you what I have on though. I just have on this homemade t-shirt, iconic skull. This is the main part of the costume that should give it away. And then I just have on green pants to go with the shirt. The thing, black t-shirt, green pants, and something related to Disney. Comment down below who you think I am before I show you the rest of our costumes. Let's go see what my parents look like. So here is my dad's outfit. This is a lab coat with a black shirt and some denim. <laughs> The lab coat should be the defining factor in who he is. Now, if you haven't caught on to the theme yet, this should be the defining factor of who we are dressed up as, or at least from what TV show we are from. This is the most obvious. Without further ado, here we have Harry the platypus. Well, or should I say, Agent P. Harry. If anyone was wondering about where to get these items, by the way, shirt is from Amazon, hat is from Amazon, and lab coat is also from Amazon. What? Black shirt. And black shirt, yeah. The black shirt is part of the outfit from... Dickies. <laughs> I forgot to even tell y'all who I am, but I feel like it should be obvious at this point since I already showed you guys my outfit. I am Buford. I am the bully, or I guess just the mean or grumpy one from Phineas and Ferb. What is happening? <laughs> the gang's all here. Can't you just picture us watching, walking around Magic Kingdom together? Everyone act like their character. What are you doing? <laughs> Mom, act like your character. <laughs> Hypothetically, I think we would win a costume contest, but Mother Nature says otherwise today. All right, let's take some pictures. <laughs> Now that we had some fun in our costumes, it's time to change into what we're actually going to wear to the party. It doesn't look too stormy out, but I guess you just never know. Knowing Florida, it's going to downpour probably any second. Let's get to changing because my mama wants to go ride some rides. Dr. Doofenshmirtz is still making an appearance. So we are now leaving the room to head over to the Halloween party. It still isn't raining yet, so fingers crossed it just holds out until closer to the end of the night. At six o'clock, the virtual queue for Tron opened up, so I went ahead and snagged us a boarding group. We are very excited to ride that at night for the very first time. Well, I think I spoke a little too soon. You can't really see it on the camera, but it is constantly coming down. Oh man, the lens is fogging up. You can tell how humid it is just by all of the condensation and fog that is on my camera lens right now. You can't even see me. That is crazy. So it started raining pretty bad out. I cursed us. So I'm gonna put my camera away and just take some videos on my phone, whatever we get up to until the weather lightens up a little bit. Not so scary Halloween party. 
party. Unfortunately, tonight's event is sold out. This evening's trips and treats will reveal themselves in just 30 minutes. Happy Halloween! So we're already making a change. I gotta take my ears off and I'm swapping the umbrella for a poncho only because everyone else is wearing ponchos. And if we're gonna ride rides, everyone's gonna just keep it on as we're riding. So the seat's gonna be soaking wet. I cannot deal with a wet butt for the entire night. So off with the ears, on with the poncho. Of course, as soon as I put my lovely poncho on, it like stopped raining. It's only like sprinkling now. So I feel like I just did all that for nothing. I get really hot wearing these. Now we are going to head to the first stop when heading into Magic Kingdom where we get our bags and our first little treat for the night. It's literally just to the right when you enter Main Street. Also they switched up their bands for the Halloween parties this year. I love these a lot more. They're not plastic anymore. They're like a cloth that you adjust with a bead. They're super nice. It started downpouring at a very intense rate. It was like everything was flooding kind of rain. We just panicked and got under a shelter because we did not know where to go. It's lightning thundering like crazy. The trick or treat trails aren't open just yet. That's in about 15 minutes, but our Tron group is four away from being called. So fingers crossed that stays open and we can head over there before the chaos begins because it would be nice to just ride Tron and get it out of the way. When the gate opens, follow your path on the So we just rode Tron in the rain, and believe it or not, you don't get wet while riding Tron in the rain, so that is good to know. The lightning and thunder, the rain, the wind, it doesn't affect the ride. We're in the first one and two rows. Absolutely amazing. We're going to trick or treat for a bit, so I'll check back in whenever I have time since it's still downpouring. Everybody is soaked, everything is wet. We're just embracing it. Uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously I am back at home and I'm still not at Disney World. It has been quite a few days since I have gotten back from the trip and you're probably thinking, weren't you just, didn't you just ride Tron and it's raining? Yes. Yes, that is exactly what happened. I need to fill y'all in on so much. <laughs> so as you guys obviously saw at the start of this vlog, it was raining. And by raining, I mean it only continued to be the worst storm I have ever encountered while at Disney in recent years. It was like a monsoon. There was not a dry pair of shoes and socks in sight. And it didn't stop raining until we sat down for a little snack dinner at Pecos Bill. And that was about at like 9.30. 30, 10 o'clock p.m. So what did we do while it was raining? We tried to stay as dry as we could, but honey, it was hard. We attempted to do some of the indoor trick-or-treat trails. We tried to do some of the low wait time indoor attractions. We kind of started making our way around the park, but it was just so wet. Once the rain stopped, it was just so much more enjoyable, as y'all can easily imagine. We rode all of the main Magic Kingdom notable attractions that we wanted to. We walked on Big Thunder Mountain, Pirates of the Caribbean. The only thing we didn't end up doing that we wanted to was Space Mountain. Space Mountain has their spooky Halloween theme for the parties, but unfortunately it was down for the majority of the night. Disney does a really good job at controlling the attendance amounts during these parties. Obviously it's gotten a little out of hand in recent years compared to years past but honestly this time it wasn't too bad if you are going to the Halloween party to see some characters they did not have a lot of them out obviously because of the rain but if you are going to see the boo to you parade they kept having to push and push and push that time back and they ended up doing it when it was still drizzling outside so just keep that in mind and plan accordingly since they canceled the fireworks they obviously had to cancel the Magic Kingdom stage show with Jack Skellington, but we weren't too upset about that because we weren't really planning on staying and watching that. I'm sure what you guys are all wondering is how did the candy turn out for us? What was our overall candy situation? Y'all, we got so much candy. And yes, we ended up bringing all of it back. I didn't show you guys this bag earlier in the video, but when you first get to the party, they put a wristband on your hand and this is the bag that you receive. It is the material of like a reusable firm 
plasticky tote. I don't think plasticky is the right word, but it keeps a shape. This is the same one from years past, I'm pretty sure. I remember the specific design. So we sorted through all of our candy as soon as we got back to the Grand Floridian and kind of separated it into piles. And to be honest, I didn't want that much candy from this go around. It was just more about the experience and having fun trick-or-treating with my parents. But I did want to keep some of the candy, specifically for my best friend Callum, because if there is anything sweet or candy related in my house when he comes over, you bet he is immediately grabbing handfuls of it. So I ended up just keeping some Milky Ways, Caramel Milky Ways, Twix, and I think there was like some Snickers in there for him. My parents didn't keep that much either. We ended up giving a lot of it to our staff at our office where we work. I definitely recommend hitting up Nikki's Not So Scary Halloween Party. It is always just so much fun running around the Magic Kingdom, trick-or-treating with your family or your friends, and it's seeing what all of the Disney characters are up to for this spooky season. I know this was a little strange vlog, but I hoped you guys enjoyed at least the first half of it. I still wanted to do this little recap just to tie everything up nicely with a bow. We did have one more day in this Disney vlog series, but I ended up not vlogging it. We spent our entire last day at the Magic Kingdom, and I really just wanted to spend that day with my parents. If you have followed along with all of these videos in this Disney vlog series, Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. Don't be too sad because here in November, I am actually headed back to Disney World with my best friend Callum. We are going a few days after my birthday and y'all, we have the most chaotic plans, but I am so excited to vlog everything because we will be laughing every single minute of every single day. So if you're interested in sticking around for some future Disney content, be sure to subscribe and like this video down below low. It really helps out my channel a lot. So with all that, I'm going to leave you guys here and I hope you have the most spooky rest of October. I will see you guys very soon. Bye. Say something he says. Curse you. <laughs> there it is. I can't sound like he does. <laughs> Next. <laughs> But I figured Is somebody at my house? Did y'all just hear that honk? Um, what? Right now. No one's at my house. Okay. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> you can feel your entire body covered in humid.